Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop, and today's video is my 500th video. Super cool. Uh, I'd thank all you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, all that. Hopefully, sharing it with your friends and checking out some of the 499 other videos. Uh, yeah, the for those of you who've been watching from the beginning, the shop has come a long way. The channel's come a long way, which is super cool. When I started this channel, the premise was, as some of you know, my children aren't with me all the time. It would be a way for them to join their dad in the shop and see what he's doing when they're not here. And it's kind of grown to, it's also that, but I've also been able to help a lot of people uh, wiring drum switches. I get a lot of emails on that, and I think it's super cool. And just answering questions and stuff, and I love that. I absolutely love helping people. So that's been that's been really cool and a really rewarding part of it. I love it when someone sends me a message after I send them a wiring diagram that their machine's up and running, and it just I, I love it. I, I get a kick out of that. So yeah, we're up to uh, 1130 some odd subscribers. Very cool. It's grown a lot in just the last year. Like eight or 900 of those are just from last year. Which is when, uh, pretty much once I moved into the, the shop I'm in now, where my new, which my new house is attached to, really, really took off. Well, I've been doing videos more often then. Uh, I do want to start showing more field work videos. I'm going to purchase a camera and get a chest mount or I, I can't wear a head mount. First of all, most of the time in the field, I'm welding. So that wouldn't, wouldn't be, you know, feasible. But I do want to get a chest mount. The reason I don't film, well, a couple reasons I don't film the field work I do is again, I've said this before, in the field, the time is not yours. I can't, you know, crawl into the middle of someone's combine to, you know, get out a broken pin or replace a bearing and say, hey, can you hold this flashlight here to improve the lighting for my, for my video? No, that stuff doesn't work. So <laughs> when I'm on someone's job site, it's I 100% of my attention has to be to the customer. I work with small farmers. Stuff breaks down in the middle of, you know, their field is halfway, you know, plowed or whatever. I, I have to f make them the focus. So that's what I do. I'm a big, big supporter of small farmers, small businesses, stuff like that. I go out of my way to help them when they can't afford to have a higher cost service come in and do them. So, but I with the chest mount thing, I think I think I can squeeze more of that in. So that's one of my things. I'm gonna get. I need to get a, an actual legitimate camera anyway. Uh, every single video you've ever seen has been filmed on my phone. This is a. I'm not good with computers and whatnot, but this is a. It's some kind of iPhone. I don't know what number or whatever it is. Uh, it has multiple camera things in the back, if that helps you. So, uh, so yeah, but I, I am looking at getting a legitimate camera. So, to try to increase the production value of the videos as much as I'm interested in it. I highly doubt I'll edit videos ever. I'm super busy. I don't really have the time for that. because I, I love working. I love working on stuff. So I'm, after I get home from my day job, I'm working out here in the shop till 10, 11 at night. Unless I have my kids, I'm in there with them. So, so yeah, uh, maybe, you know, I, I don't know if I'll ever produce my videos. So also, I don't have any intentions of ever monetizing my channel. I know that. I get a lot of questions about that. Uh, I know YouTube has a thing where they can themselves monetize your videos so they can get their little piece of the pie, whatever. Uh, 
I understand why they do that. I don't like it, but as long as I have control over it, I'm not monetizing my channel. And I have absolutely 100% nothing against anyone who does. It's just, that's not why I make my videos. I do it to help people and so my kids can look at my videos and watch when, what dad's doing in the shop that day. And just people do, you know, have a little, you know, fun watching the videos. That's my main thing. I have enough going on. I don't need to mess with any of that. But, of course, if YouTube makes me, I guess they'll make me. So, so yeah, again, that's, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for you guys checking out the videos. Um, it's grown very, a lot faster than I thought it would for the type of videos I put out. They're just what I'm doing in the shop. Uh, I'm interested in what people are doing in their shops. So I was hoping some of you guys, and obviously people who subscribe are, are interested in checking out what someone else is doing that shop. And when I record a video, it's that day. So if you see me working on the grinder or the mill or a lathe, I was working on that an hour before you saw the video on it. I will start showing more videos on the 14-inch uh, uh, Reed Prentice. I make an awful lot of bushings, like tractor bushings and stuff. So that's why I don't show a lot of the... Uh, this fall, I'll be getting in a lot of pump impellers and stuff, so I'll show more of that stuff and pump repair. A lot of the year, during the middle of the year, it's pump, it's uh, bushings and stuff. I don't want to do a hundred videos on me making bushings to different dimensions that's not interesting <laughs> so, but i will try to show some of the more interesting jobs the check valves i rebuild and stuff like that and i will go more into depth on rebuilding the check valves not just turning the faces and all that and also in the winter i get more uh motor shaft buildups and turns and stuff like that so I, I do plan on showing more of that. I just didn't want to bore you guys with, you know, three days a week. It's a video of me turning a different sized bushing out of bronze or whatever it is. So, yeah, then this winter, i got some machines we'll be going through. Um, I'm going to get a piece of brass to make the compound screw thing for the boy Nemesis, which is right here. Uh, we're going to go through the Sebastian lathe. Got some ideas for that. The uh, step-toe shaper. That's I'm working on that now. I'm also working on the vertical mill. I want to make a video where more progress is made on the motor map. So that's why I didn't post a video yesterday or today on it. I want to get a substantial chunk of it done before I show you guys. So the entire... Uh, part that bolts to the machine will be done tomorrow and then the motor bracket should only take a day to make so hopefully just take a day to make uh yeah so a lot of cool stuff i'm excited for the winter i mean yard sales are going to start closing up here pretty soon so it'll just be auction stuff but i got some good projects some restoration projects uh ready for the winter as much as I restore things. I don't do... You're not going to find one of my restored machines in the Smithsonian. I'm not interested in stripping all the paint off stuff and painting it. I'm, I'm just not. To me, it's having them run. So, again, I'm, I'm a very busy person. I like working. So, I don't have the time or don't... And I just don't care for it. I don't like stripping paint off stuff. I like painting things. I should find someone who wants to, I can pay, you know, 10 bucks an hour to come strip machines. Though, uh, the Big Grinder and a few other projects, there is a company that does sandblasting very affordably in my area. If you drop it off and say, call me when it's done so they can get to it whenever they want. So, I will do some, uh, we'll have them do that and I'll repaint it. Yeah, I uh, love the shop is almost done. I have a th it's a three day weekend for me. I think Monday or 
mid next week we'll be ready for the first official full shop tour so that'll be cool there won't be a place for everything but i'll show you guys around gotta do some more wiring put some more outlets in uh move a few more machines uh pick up some stuff as i look around there's oh there's stuff everywhere so <sighs> so yeah uh thank you thank you thank you thank you uh thank you for the comments thank you for the likes thank you for the subscriptions uh please tell your friends and stuff about my channel there's 400 like i said there's 499 other videos to check out i know a lot of my videos are not real interesting viewed independently without a what's going on in the background picture but eh. Try to keep them short and sweet. And I will continue to do that. Uh, I'll have a... So tomorrow's video will be on the vertical band, the vertical milling machine. The motor part should be done. If all goes according to plan. So yeah, that project will be done soon. And I got engine-driven welder. We'll be doing a motor swap on. Uh, working on Sebastian Lathe. There's the good thing about the machines I have is there's always something to do. I never walk into the shop after work or, you know, on the weekend and go, I, I don't know what to do. There's, I can look anywhere in the shop and there's something to do, which is, which I like. It, it keeps me busy. I don't watch TV. I can't tell you the last time I sat down and watched a TV show. It's probably been three or four years. I don't, you know, watch movies and stuff like that, really. So this, the shop and the work I do is my life. And, and I love it. Well, when my kids are here, they're my life. But when I'm here by myself, this is what I do. I'm in the shop every night. And... I wouldn't have it any other way. So thank you guys for joining me in the shop. It is super appreciated. I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.